Welcome to You Can Do It. I'm your host, Chris. In this video, I'm going to be installing an attic gable fan. It's a model WCGB, and it's made by AirVent from Dallas, Texas. I'm going to show you how to install this, so stay tuned, and I'll show you how you can do it. Here's the details of the fan. Um, it's a six-blade fan. Um, it's a metal fan. The motor is a 2.8 amp motor. Um, it's got a plastic shroud or the housing itself that it sits in is plastic, as you can see, um, if you're kind of putting it in, uh, well, I wouldn't say a wet location because the motor, it, you don't want it to get wet. Um, it is the WCGB powered attic fan. It puts out 1,320 CFM. Um, it'll do up to 1,900 square feet. And it has an adjustable thermostat. Uh, this thermostat will go from down to 50 degrees all the way up to 120. So wherever you set that dial right there, it will it will start up and then shut off once it cools down. If you set it at 90, it'll start at 90 and cool down to 90. All right, so you're probably wondering where I'm at. Um, I'm actually not in an attic. Um, I'm installing this fan in a greenhouse. This is a gable vent, though, that I've got on the outside here. Um, basically, I'm just going to mount this thing over the opening, and then I'm going to mount this junction box off to the side so I can wire it up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Just kind of roughly eye it here. Make sure you get it centered over where you want it to go. Put one screw in it up top and get it situated and screw it down. You may have to put a couple blocks in to where you have something to mount these ears, the mounting ears. But four screws, it's all you need. All right. So that part's done. And I'm going to mount this thermostat just off to the side over here. And this J box here, it just opens up from the side. It just kind of has these tabs with these four holes. You just kind of spread it out and open it up. And you'll see that you've got... A neutral a hot and there should be a ground screw right here and it looks like it fell out so I'll locate one of those and then depending on how you're gonna wire it if you're in the attic you'll just use like either a Romex grommet or a squeeze connector and you'll bring your Romex right into this hole right here um, I'm in the attic or I'm actually in the greenhouse so I'm gonna be using well, a piece of seal tight flex to go down to this bell box. Um, that's what I'm going to use just so I don't have my Romex um, exposed. Got a six foot height here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my materials and I'll be back. I've got the junction box switch thermostat installed. It's mounted to the, to the siding here. So now I'm going to go ahead and wire it up. Um, I located the ground screw. It's right here. It goes into this hole right here. So I'm going to take the ground and I'm going to ground this wire right here to the ground screw. So I'm going to go ahead and strip it back. I'm going to take my strippers and I'm going to take the end here. You'll see there's like a little notch here. I'm going to go ahead and put a little hook, twist the wire down, make a hook out of it. I'm going to hook it around the ground screw right here. And then take your pliers and kind of squeeze the wire around the screw and tighten down the ground screw. Now you'll see there's two wires in here that have a blue wire net on it. You're going to leave that alone. You're not going to disconnect that. There is a black wire here. You're going to run that wire which is hooked to the thermostat switch to your power coming in to the box. 
which is the, the blue wire. You may have a black wire coming from your Romex. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these two wires together. And then you'll connect the white wire to the white wire that you'll see inside the junction box as well. So we'll go ahead and strip that back and connect that. Now you don't have to have your attic fan on a switch. Like if you had a switch down on the first floor or an area where you could get access to it, I'm going to go ahead and install the cover now. Um, but I'm going to install a switch just in case I don't want the fan to come on. I want it to stay on. All right. I don't want it to come on at all. So I've installed a junction box just below this one to install a switch so I can override it just in case I want to shut it off or I don't want it to run. So I'll show you how to install that too. The thermostat is finished. So now I'm going to come on down here to the J box that I've got installed. It's a bell box. I've got my wiring coming down here and I've got the feed coming in, the power coming in to the J box. I'm going to be installing it's a Leventon switch slash plug. Um, this circuit that I have in my hand here, even though I'm here in the greenhouse, it's GFCI protected. So um, I don't need a GFI here because it's on the load side of the GFI, but I'm going to be putting in this plug and the switch in the upper switch here is going to install. It's going to uh, operate the fan. So if I want to shut it off, I just flip the switch and I can turn it off and override the thermostat. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ground the switch first. You can see here I've stripped back the wire. I've got the ground screw. There's a there's a little hole over here on the side of the bell box. I'm going to make sure that I ground this wire. The easiest way to do this, so you don't lose the screw inside the box, is just to get the screw. If you got solid wire, wrap it around the screw. So the screw stays on the wire and then just take your nut driver or screwdriver and get it into the hole, and tighten it down. All right. So now we'll make up these two grounds. We're going to pigtail a wire off to the switch. Get your wires all the way together at the end. Take a set of linemans here and give them a couple turns, twist them together. You don't want to use the wire nut to do this because if you try to twist the wire nut too much, you can break the wire nut or the end of it will actually turn white. So I've twisted the wires together. Now I'm installing the wire nut. I'll go ahead and fold this in here, tuck it away neatly. So now I'll go ahead and land the two white wires. So I ended up having to take those two neutrals and make them up together and run another wire off because this particular device, it only has one screw on it because it is a switch plug combo. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff these in there. So I had that wire stripped back just a little bit exposed. And then there's, I left this tail on here of insulation. So I'm going to wrap this around because it is stranded and get it nice and tight around the screw and then tighten down the screw.
you'll probably have to take a pair of line or linemans or needle nose and tighten this down. Just kind of squeeze it around the screw to keep it from opening up. You can use a spade connector if you want or a fork connector, but I'm this usually works really well if you hold it together nice and tight. And it just keeps the stranded wire from fraying out. Okay, so we got that on there. This is the switch leg. The switch leg is going to land on this one screw. And where you got this tab and the two black screws, that's the power side. That's where your power is going to land on that. And you got your ground screw right here, which is the green will land to the ground. This is the power source installs here switch leg up here for the switch that operates the attic fan okay so let's go ahead and install those wires all right so i've landed the wires i got the hot wire landed i got the the ground landed the neutral on the white screw and then my switch leg going to the attic fan so I'm going to go ahead and install this device into the bell box. Now, when you go to install it, you'll see these screws right here, how they're long. You want to make sure you don't have any wires right behind where it goes into the hole. If it's right behind here and you got your hot wire and it's folded down in here with a neutral up in here, you're going to have problems if it's on a GFI. Um, it'll cut through the jacket of the wire, give you a, a short or, or you'll be troubleshooting. So. Uh, make sure your wires are out of the way of these holes, these mounting holes, or you can use smaller screws as well. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and install this, and I'll put the cover on it. Cover's installed. I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch on and adjust the thermostat on our attic fan. So it's set at 120. You can take a flathead screwdriver, stick it into the slot, and just turn it to your desired temperature. It's probably about 80 degrees in here right now. So I'm, well, it's probably 85. So just kicked on, it's nice and quiet. You can see it there. I can feel a breeze pulling through. So it's working really nice, nice and quiet. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to install. Um, if you're the hardest part is if you're in a real tight area in your attic. Well, I hope this video helped you so that you can install your own attic fan. Thank you for watching. You can do it. Stay tuned for the next video.